here at the World Economic Forum Innovation Summit, okay. being interviewed by my good friend David Kilpatrick here. So, how are organizations changing how they manage talent, or what did you learn about that today? What I've learned, David, uh, it, 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 how organizations are changing how they manage their innovation talent is um, everybody is talking about how to leverage these clusters, uh, clusters of innovation, and then the part, we've heard about that, but the part that's added is that with the collaboration tools that are emerging today, um, we have to break the thought from it being a geographically bounded cluster okay to an interest bounded cluster mm. and and that the collaboration tools certainly as we look at youth and how they use them are going to redefine and we're going to have boundaryless collaboration emerge much more on the scene uh, of successes than what we've seen in the past and that's one of the things I take away from that's uh, a good here how what pe what would you tell an organization that's trying to increase the success of its innovation boost its success rate Good luck. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. The the the. I think if if I put it in the context of what we could learn from here today, um, in the the innovation success rate often is not the uh, lack of good ideas coming in. Uh, there's kind of a uh, an innovation constipation where you have the problem on the output side, on the execution side of things. And one of the things that came loud and clear is that help keep the entrepreneur who comes up with the innovation, who comes up with it in the life cycle to the end, to the, to the realization of it. And, 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 and so perhaps that's not always easy to do, especially with global scale and so on and so forth, but it seems uh, essential to keep that passion of the original thought connected with the customer and, and to the execution machine of your business. Um, so, so keeping that, um, the innovation entrepreneur connected with the idea through execution to break down this kind of innovation constipation where just good ideas get uh, thrown in but get stuck in the execution side of things. Wow, that was good. So is there any one thing you learned today that you wouldn't have expected? <laughs> um, I've learned a couple things that shouldn't go on camera. Go right uh, yeah, well, no, that, 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 that's quite all right. Thank you very much. No, um, Did I learn something today that was unexpected? I think that I learned that many of the problems and challenges that we face inside of BT in transforming from a closed innovation model to an open innovation model um, are in fact um, not just in our business. And, and there's, there's probably a whole bunch of individual pieces of knowledge uh, listening to HP around how in the heck are they organizing research in such a way that it can be much more relevant connected to the business as opposed to doing pet rocks, that's very relevant to me. So in some detail things about structuring the programs, connecting them with the business, but making sure it doesn't become development, those things were actually particularly useful and, and actionable for me. So not great big ahas, but kind of like a master class uh, from the guys from Cisco, the guys from HP, and, and listening to the other sessions. So it was pretty pretty valuable to me. Very cool. That's all we need. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Very good.